my experience and my knowledge, the two most important components of you know, knowing how to put a deal together or knowing what kind of deal to put together is the, the ARV, the after repair value and the repairs, you know, cause if you get either one of those or both of those wrong, you could end up in a disastrous deal and could end up, that could be the only deal you ever do. Uh, in fact, most people that if you're like, we will tell people like, if you're going this alone, don't be doing 10, 10, anything more than a ten or fifteen thousand dollar rehab, because you're going to lose your shirt. If you're like, in fact, one of the guys that's going to help us out on the house is a, is a real good friend, TK. He's one of the houses we're going to look at that's going to be a seventy to hundred thousand dollar rehab. That is not something somebody that's done ten or less rehabs should even think about doing because they can't. They'll they will lose. They, there's so there's so many variables in that. I mean, by definition, a seventy or hundred thousand dollar rehab. There's so many variables. Then, unless you're pretty much an expert or you have an expert on your team, you're gonna eat it. You're gonna eat it big time. So we don't want to. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do that. We we want to be able to. If you're if you're a beginning rehabber, you want to keep it. You either have to have a super team. In other words, somebody that wins when you win, not a contractor, because a contractor wins when they win at, at your peril, at your loss. So, uh, so we don't want to do that. You got to have a partner. You got to have a mentor. You got to have a competent somebody that cares enough about you that they're gonna they're gonna pay attention to what you're doing and they're gonna tell you when you're screwing up. Um, uh, our, you know, we have that re in San Antonio, and there's two guys there that thought they were the they thought. You know, they've done seven rehabs and you couldn't tell them anything. You know, and I've done like, I don't know, 700 rehabs. And it's like, I couldn't tell them anything. And I was, I was say, well, why didn't you do this? And why didn't you do that? And why didn't you, oh, we got it figured out. And our contractor's telling us this. And I'm thinking, oh my God, you're listening to your contractor. You're taking advice <laughs> from your contractor. And it's like, and you can't even tell them anything. And it's like, and then you got to argue with them. And you're sitting there and you're arguing with them and you're thinking, why am I arguing with them? You know, I mean, this is not my deal. They're not, they don't even have enough respect to know when they don't know what they're doing. And it's like, why even go down that path? It's so, you know, so it's the first, so the first thing that we can tell you guys to write this down is, especially if you're first starting out is to leave your ego at the door, be coachable. Okay. Be teachable. Yeah. Okay, find, find somebody that, that has done a number of rehabs and they've got the experience. They've been through the pitfalls and listen to them. I can't tell you how many times I personally have listened to Ray and in my mind, I'm fighting him. Like this makes no sense. And then I still do it, you know, because I trust Ray because of his experience and voila, he's right. <laughs> you know, we did uh... We did and, then other, and then there's other times that I do stuff and I'm like, okay, I know what I'm doing, know what I'm doing. And it's like, Oh crap. Hey Ray, where are you at? <laughs> <laughs> so always be, be coachable, uh, leave your ego at the door and ask questions. Uh, that, that, that in the what beginning find too, James, it's a guy that's done the 700 rehab like Pat and I, we've had our butt kicked so many times we are not cocky. We're definitely not cocky. It, when you, when you, you become humbled by the process. And so when, when that happens, you listen. And, and a lot of times people don't hear me, but I'll say, look, unless you have a better idea, I'm doing it my way. But I always say that first, unless you have a better idea, because, because many times the person, even with less experience comes to the table and they do have a better idea. And so you, definitely got to check your ego at the door, uh, leave that thing behind and listen to people.